Hey everybody, it's V the Notary. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I like to give you guys my reminders, you know, and just best practices and just something, some things for you guys to think about as you move along and your loan signing agent business and notary business because, you know, you have so many moving parts. There's so many things that you have going on that it is easy for you to kind of forget stuff sometimes, okay? So, um, this one is kind of related to supplies and just, again, something for you to make sure that you check for every single signing um, until you familiarize yourself with, you know, the different laws and policies and procedures for the different states, okay? Because you're going to be notarizing documents, and this is, you know, more for new notaries, but a reminder for, you know, seasoned notaries, you're going to be notarizing documents from all over the country, okay? You're not just going to be notarizing documents for this state that you reside in or that you are commissioned. Okay, so in case you didn't know that, if you live in Texas or Florida or whatever, you're not just going to be notarizing the documents for Florida documents, okay? And so obviously it's important to make sure that you remember the policies, the laws, the procedures for your state. That's important. So make sure that you do that first and foremost. But, you know, you have to also know the different things for the different states because every state is very, very different, okay? And that's to include the District of Columbia as well, right? So with that being said, one of the most important parts of being a notary is to provide your seal in some form or fashion because that indicates that you are indeed commissioned. It has your full name, the state that you're commissioned, as well as the, um, the dates of when your commission expires, right? So that is important if you are notif notarizing official documents or certificates you're, more, you're going to usually put your seal on there and that's to verify that you are indeed qualified and able and legally um, able to be, you know, conducting the notarization, okay? So we, we have, we're talking about seals. Now, did you know or you should know that every single state has different policies that you have to follow and different procedures for how you place your seal on a document? So with that being said, we have the seal, the stamps, and then we have embossers, okay? So the embosser is you're kind of putting an imprint. There's an actual embosser in instrument that you are imprinting on a document where the seal is kind of raised and it kind of stands out, right? It kind of makes it more pronounced. So once you add your embosser imprint on a document, then you add your inker to it. And then, you know, it's where you can, obviously you can actually feel it. So it's, you know, it's a raised imprint and you can actually feel it. And then you add your anchor to it. And, you know, voila, that is, you know, your, your notary information, your commission information, right? But then on the other hand, we have the actual stamps, the seal stamps. Okay. And that is, you know, it's easier. You just kind of, you, you press down and then your stamp is there, right? But did you know, and you should know, and if you don't, you need to make sure that you know and make sure um, that for every state that you're notarizing stuff for, make sure that you're aware that some states do not allow embossers, some require embossers, some want you to actually use your stamp. So until you kind of get familiarized with the different policies, you need to make sure you're looking this up. So I'm going to say this. Obviously, for me, for instance, the, the bulk of the work that I do is loan signing, you know, work. And we all know that loan signing work, you're going to be dealing with lots of different states. And some more than others, depending on where you live. Because, for instance, you might have a buyer or a seller that is selling, you know, their home in Arizona, but they could be on vacation in your state. And because, you know, business doesn't stop right you know vacation doesn't stop business so let's just say again you live in texas there's the the uh client is selling their home in arizona but they're on vacation in dallas or houston or whatever and they need it's time sensitive they need it to get done so they need a notary in in texas so they you know loan signing 
you know, um, agency or a title company sends out an alert or sends you a request to notarize something while that, you know, seller client is in Texas. And then there you go. You're now in Texas, but you're notarizing and you're doing, you're, you're um, doing this documentation for a, um, property that's in Arizona. Now, if you've never done a closing, for a property in Arizona, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you look up the laws for Arizona to make sure that you are doing it properly, okay? Um, I have done, um, I've done signings for Arizona properties and I just threw a state out there, I have. And I usually use an embosser. My state, you know, I primarily use my embosser and Arizona allows embossers. But again, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Ohio does not. Okay. And for me, luckily when I got a signing in Ohio and I, I know if there's any notaries in Ohio, you guys will, you guys will check me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I'm wrong. I think that you cannot use an ambassador in, in Ohio. You have to use a stamp. Luckily the signing service, they reminded me, Hey, do not use an ambassador for this signing because Ohio does not allow ambassadors. You have to actually use your uh, stamp. So that clicked and I was like that and this was early on you know when I started doing loan signings I was like okay well I need to make sure that I'm checking um and again you know so now obviously I know if it's Ohio I know how to handle that but um you know I just wanted to remind you guys because again you're going to be doing signings I, I mean Florida Vermont all over because you people are moving around you know what I'm saying you're a mobile notary but so are the people they go on vacation they go out of town for work they go to visit their mom, whatever, and they, you know, they're, they're moving parts and they're still buying and selling properties. And so again, you're going to be doing business for all kinds of clients all over the country. You want to make sure that you are putting the proper type of, you know, notary seal on the document, because if you do not, it's going to be obsolete. They're not going to be able to record it with the county etc and then you're either going to maybe not get paid because i'm telling y'all you know y'all know these these signing services if you make them they're waiting for you to make a mistake because if you make a mistake they'll let you know if you don't do this right we're going to deduct this amount of money some signing services if you make certain mistakes they won't pay you they let you know that beforehand if they have to send you back out it's going to be a problem so you want to make sure that you're you know the seal is so important you know, that's like the bread and butter and the life of what we do and how we are kind of proving, hey, you know, we have our ledgers, we have, you know, whatever, we have our actual commission documents, but when we put our stamp on there, we want to make sure that we're doing it properly. And part of that is making sure you put the right one on there. Okay. And again, this is not just for loan signing agents. I say that because in my loan signing work, I'm dealing, that's where I'm doing, um, a lot of work for several different states. You know, you never know what state you're going to be dealing with when you get an assignment. Um, but it's also for general notary work as well and apostilles and everything. You're that's the great thing about being a notary. You get exposed to, you know, people who live all over the world, all over the country, you know, all over the world if you're an apostille, depending on what you're doing. And then if you're doing work in the country as general notary, loan signing you know, you're going to be dealing with all kinds of people, which is cool. And so you kind of get to see the different policies and procedures um, for each state. But again, you need to familiarize yourself with the basics of, of each state. And again, you're not going to memorize everything, but if you get a signing for a state that you are not familiar with, make sure that you check that because I would hate for you guys to be out here improperly putting your seal on documents and then, you know, there's there's repercussions and an aftermath of that if you don't do it the right way, okay? So I hope this video was helpful, you know, kind of short and sweet today, but it was just on my mind and I wanted to make sure that I brought it to you guys so that you guys remember, you know, and you can apply that to your business, spread the word to all any other notaries that you know so that, you know, we're all kind of in compliance and we're all making sure that we do things the right way, okay? So... With that being said, uh, I'm signing off V the Notary, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay warm. It's getting a little chilly outside. Um, and as always, if you guys have questions or comments, you can drop down in my comments. Like, subscribe, share, you guys. Thank you for your support, your continued support, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.